Hello everybody, Sifrid Yen with another inscription cases mod run. And uh, yeah, let's do, a, let's do a low cost run, because why not? Do a low cost run. And I think I'm gonna, this, this is most likely gonna be my last inscriptions mod run. Uh, cases mod run. Uh, until, you know, they, they officially launch this. Because as I said, I wanna do the all challenges run when they launch this officially. I hope this isn't today, because if it's today, like, this footage is most likely gonna go to the bin and nobody's gonna see it. Or it's gonna get uploaded and it's gonna be instantly outdated. <laughs> anyway. And uh, yeah, most likely gonna go back over to modded inscription. Obviously, yesterday I talked about some things for modded specifically. Well, we got cockroach into Gek. Are you kidding me? And field mice into tadpole. What is this? What is this? Actually, I got cockroach field mice. If I put both of them in the Gek. If I paint the Gek, like... <sighs> Wait a minute. How can I do this? If I, if I don't transfer anything to the Gek... Paint it, get a second one. Transfer cockroach and field mice on the gag. First of all, we take these two. For sure. <laughs> Let's go for the instant combo win of win. Uh, now, specifically now that we're playing Casey's mod. Uh, maybe maybe I should even go to a shop. Like I'm really thinking about transfer the field mice on the gag. Transfer the cockroach on the gag again. But the thing is, I need a second gag. I want to go transfer for sure. Okay, there are two, two, two trains of thought here. One is, we we paint the gek before we put any sigil on it, and then we transfer them one by one. The second choice is to just transfer first the field mice, so that I get double gek turn one. Actually, no, first the cockroach, to get infinite cockroaches, uh, infinite geks. We're only gonna lose against flyers pretty much. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I, go, I see another sacrifice there. We're gonna go here to the right, and maybe we get a tadpole. But if I get two tadpoles, it's already gonna be too late. Hmm. And the thing is that if I go over here, this is most likely gonna get transferred somewhere for sure. I can transfer the tadpole on the rabbit. I mean, it, it, this is gonna be a one-two anyway. And this is gonna be, might as well be this one-two. <laughs> what a stupid idea to do. We can get something from here and just transfer the whatever we get to the tadpole. Or I can just straight up avoid the first sacrifice. That would be an easy choice. Avoid the first sacrifice, go like this path. And then the second sacrifice is gonna be the field mice on the gek. I think that's the easier choice because right now I want to get like double gek having infinity and also fecundity. Because then I will be able to play two cards. Both of them will both of them have, will have unkillable. One of the two is gonna have only fecundity on it and unkillable. The other is only gonna have unkillable. And then if I can transfer, yeah, this is gonna be like insane run. Let's let's go this path. Let's try to let's try to get a super gek. Um, what is gek? It's a slither. We don't have slithers. Oh, we do have slithers. What am I talking about? Let's go. Easy enough. Imagine if we get fecundity from that, or immortality from that. Let's see what we get. Okay. I can play the field mice right away. That don't really need to either. Yeah, no reason to sacrifice anything. That is needed to be. Hop. Now we go this path. I tried to also hit a good uh, damage number here. So we're gonna go through. No, I, I tried to do a good damage number. Oh no, actually correct. Why am I making fun of myself while everything is correct? I mean, the Gek's gonna die, but we're gonna do a lot more next turn. Gek is dead, nice. Now we go here. And we win. Easy enough. Uh, yeah, we'll go here to see what we get. I will try to get something to transfer on the... Whoa, we got another cockroach. Perfect. Actually, perfect. Yeah, let's make the tadpole also roll. Oh, let's go here. Most likely gonna go to the left to get a sigil. Okay, you over here. I will maintain the gag clean for the combo I wanna do. As I already said. The painter combo. Although I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have enough time for that. Yeah, I'm not sure how f smart that is. Like, I, I think it's just not gonna happen. I need more sacrifices. And I need a painter and then another sacrifice. Yeah, that's like almost not gonna happen. Uh, I mean, I got an infinite tadpole here. Which is not gonna stay an infinite tadpole. It's not an infinite tadpole in the first place. Let's go, let's go here. Into this. Into this. Into this. Okay, into this, into this, into this, 
Legends say he's still saying in uh, he's still say, see, <laughs> saying into this. <laughs> As legend has it, easy win. Infinite handfuls is not really that good though. Uh, I would say let's go get ahead. Transfer the field mice on the gek. Transfer. Um, I think I should just transfer the field mice on the gek, like the cockroach on the gek right now. I think I should just transfer the cockroach on the gek right now, and then. And then hope that I tr like force a shop, then force a shop and try to buy like a golden pelt and try to find a gag on purpose. I think that's the best plan. He says and goes off to the sacrifice. I want to also get the, the sigil going. Let's go for one cost. Warren, <laughs> that's actually good. Let's go here. Sacrifice over there. Okay, give us immortality. I mean, infinite blockers on an infinite handful and an infinite gag. But it's not gonna join for free. It's not it's not corpse maggots. I don't have corpse maggots. Let's not take anything. Let's try to fish for better. Let's go here. I can go for fish for better. I see a forced item, so we're gonna use this right away. So I don't forget. Okay. Uh let's start the combo. Why do I have a rabbit in hand? Oh um, I have a rabbit in my deck, I just realized. Let's go here. Bobbity. Leave that skink exist. Pass. Take the damage. Okay, and we win. Uh, score is pretty decent. Although, nah, I should have taken it away. It's mostly I'm mostly a zero deck. Why would I want a squirrel on the side? I think I need to go for sacrifice. I think I need to go for sacrifice. Not really sure though. Not really sure though. Let's go sacrifice and I'm gonna try to fish for a gek. Let's get the gek immortal. Mm, insects are always good as far as I remember saying. <laughs> nice. How many mortal units are we gonna get? How many mortal units are we gonna get? The immortality run, man. The immortality run. I can even play the Warren. Make the Warren immortal. Let's make the Gek immortal. Now I just need the fecundity. You see, Sif, that's why they nerfed fecundity, because you could have already had a fecundity infinite uh, Gek now. Ooh, ooh. snap, obviously. What a trash hand. I guess go scroll for the blocker, maybe. I should have used the other scroll, by the way. Let's see what we can get out of this. Blah, 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 blah. It's the Fisher. If I draw the Gek, we win instantly. Uh, the Tadpole is not an insta win. I'm gonna play the Field Mice. Do I want to play the Field Mice? Because they're gonna die. I can sacrifice the one Field Mice to play the other Field Mice. I think that's the play. Let's play this here. Uh, let's leave the Tadpole be for now. It's just to do damage per turn. Now we're gonna slow play this until I draw the gig from the deck. Nice. We take two. We do two. We take two. Hook that away. Warren is not really that good. Uh, I mean, we pass. There is nothing to do here. We take one. Okay. I mean, we give him a rabbit if it needs to happen. Now we give him a squirrel. We're still not winning yet, no, yet. Next card should be a Gek. Not a Gek, the Gek. So we go here. We win this turn. I should not have played this. I should not have given him another skeleton for no reason. Another skeleton, what is this called? I should I should just straight up not have played that. Okay, we're gonna go through my soap up. We're gonna go over to the left. I do a secret hidden rush tactic. Old attack on the side that is lethal. And yeah, that tactic always works most of the time. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Give us a gek, and we won. Give us a gek, and we won. Da -da 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 -da. Or or a or a Ijirak. Nope, nope, nope. Udaboras? It's an Ijirak. We go with Ijirak. Is it an Udaboras? Is it an Ijirak? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. 
I would say we go this path. Sacrifice the Warren onto the EG Rock. Is what? Why would I do that? What, what? What was I thinking when I said that thing? Transfer the cockroach on the rabbit. We're gonna go flame most likely anyway. So what we get? Definitely no on these. I could put the Warren on the Beaver so it gives us three. <laughs> Imagine, I'm not even an expensive deck in the first place. Uh, I could put Poisonous on. Really bad cards in general. I guess my turtle. I guess poisonous for the very final fight. I guess poisonous for the very final fight. And also for a pocket poisonous. Poisonous in general is decent. I would say we go flames and throw the hydra out of the deck. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think that's what we should do. Just go flame, put it out. Would like to get another gag though, somehow. I mean, we're gonna get another gag from the painter, but the thing is, it's uh, it's really bad. Anyway, if this is life damage, okay. Well, damage on poisonous is always good. Let's try to put the damage buff on the Girac, which is this cockroach right now. Nope, it's this rabbit. I could put the rabbit out of the deck. Yeah, let's try to burn the rabbit out of the deck. I mean, why would I need a rabbit? Most of the deck is like two costs and one cost, and if anything, the rest of the deck is like free. Bye bye. By the way, as I have said before a bunch of times, Ijirak always sacrifices the target that it copied, so you cannot burn Ijirak ever. I see a combination there. Do I have anything to combine? Hmm. Hmm. What could this possibly mean? What could this possibly mean? <laughs> I love it. We've we got the Ishirak, so we're pretty much one. It's not this one. It's this one. Yay! And uh, yeah, we won. I mean, it's an Ishirak. I can even play the adder here. Let's play the adder. Why not? Ishirak's gonna kill the over there. I mean, this is a free unit anyway. Oop, we won. <laughs> adder was not even used at all. So here, I'm not sure if this gives you elite uh, rare cards. Dar Wolf, that's a good transfer to put on something. Yeah, but at this point it's too late. I can easily play three costs though. I have a million ways to play three costs. Let's take this. Let's see if I can actually play three costs without having a goat. Let's go here. Do I have anything twice? No. I want to see if this thing actually can give you rare cards. Although I'm 99% sure it doesn't. I want to go there anyway. Let's see, does it give us rare cards? It does! Nice! We got the combo. We got it done. It's over. Wait, that, well that was a gig, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it could have been an easy rack, I mean. <laughs> I now just need to find a sacrifice and a combination again. And then we got the combo going. And I mean, I, and then I also need to draw it every round. Which means the combo is not really existing. Uh oh, this is a really bad hand. And this is uh, looking like a loss, but I think I can play the Dire Wolf and win anyway. So, let's just go for this here. It's not an easy rock. Yeah, let's play the squirrel and play the dark wolf. It's not an easy rock, who would have thought? Let's say we attack here in the middle. Leave the opponents do what they want. I'm doing 4 damage now and then another 4 next turn anyway. Let's hope it's not the easy rock. Nice. And yeah, we won. And this can attack next turn too. 4 damage. I love the dark wolf, man. Nice, and now I can do another five. Cockroach. But is it a cockroach? Or is it an Ijira? I don't have bones. It is what it is, I don't have bones. <laughs> We're never gonna learn. You never know. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. Uh, this path, like, this is... Item is good, but this... Nah, let's go this path. Maybe I can get, like, the good totem. Found a black goat. Do I need a black goat? N not honestly, no. Hon honestly, no, but... I have a 3 cost in the deck and some... Yeah, let's take it. Although it's not really a good choice. I see a painter on the left, but I don't want to go there anymore. What we can get. 
<laughs> wow, this is this is have you seen luck ever? If you have ever seen luck, this is what it looks like. What is this? And what is better? I, I guess this is better, as this and this have already mortality. I mean, yeah, like that is better. And this also will have double. Wow. Insane. Insane. This, this is this is a surreal, man. This is completely surreal. <laughs> what were the chances? What were the chances that I got both? That's, that's the surreal part, that I got both of them. We're gonna burn the adder out of the deck at this point. Yep, infinite gek, that might not be a gek. Infinite adder, infinite tadpole. Let's begin. This might be an easy rock. I'm gonna play the adder on the left. Like, I don't care, we're winning turn one. No, we're not winning turn one because I don't have four damage. Uh, the raven's gonna be the main problem. Let's begin. Is your rock? Nope. There you go. Sacrifice both of them. Play this over here. Fecundity. Play this over here. Why does this not good fecundity from the totem? Game's cheating, as always. Yes. Okay, very nice. Take pretty much two damage. And we win. Whoop. Easy enough. Uh oh. Panic, panic, panic. I mean, we're winning anyway. Let's make sure we're winning. Uh, let's actually gain money, that's the thing. Poverty, poverty. Easy enough. Poverty, poverty. Your life is my property. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Shift out of context completely. Let's see where we go. T -t 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 -t. Most likely double flame. And when I say most likely, I mean literally. What safe? You could have picked up the knife. And not a direwolf. Yeah, let's take it. I mean, we can easily play a direwolf at this point with this deck. Flame. I would say remove the adder. Where's the adder? I can even remove the black code later. Uh, Warren is here too. Let's get rid of the adder. Wait a minute, do I have damage? I don't care, we burn the adder. If it becomes a 3-1, then congratulations. Nope. Just like that, you're out. And now, uh, because they ate an adder, they are poisoned, right? Yep. And it rolled damage again. What a lucky thing to kind of get. Uh, we're obviously gonna put it on this gek. Now we got an infinite gek of win. I mean, it was already infinite gag of win, but now it's a super win. Let's out. Let's see what we got. Prospector, my gold. This is lack incarnate, man. We got, we got almost infinite lives on everything, and then we also got fecundity. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna just play the direwolf right away. Should I do that? I play the fecundity right away. I can just draw real cards all the time. Yeah, let's just play fecundity right away. Uh, not, not Fecundity, the Darwolf. Let's go here, let's go here. Let's go here. And then here. And this. Now you might ask why I did it. It's better. <laughs> now you might ask why I did it. Obviously it's not better, but whatever. Um, I did it like this because I wanted to have a pocket. Well, the real Darwolf is here. Let's go. Hope for damage. I wanted to have a way playing things. Okay, we got a Tadfall, so I can start playing things on the board now. Uh, I will take one damage from this. This is gonna not even break the boulder. This is gonna take four, and then it's gonna move to the left. I'll do four. Yeah, we still have time. Take one, move to the left. Very nice. Let's go real card. So now we have lethal pretty much. And we got the super gag too. Okay, we won. Easy enough. Hammer slammer the easy rock. But it's repulsive. Do you not feel repulsed to hammer slammer it with your axe? I did not want to draw that, but whatever. Let's go three here, that's dead. Let's go three here, that's dead. We have an infinite supply of three ones. Ah, cute. Cute. That you would assume that I need your cards. This is what luck, luck looks like. Uh, can I sacrifice the gag without sacrificing the gag? 
Honestly, I don't think so. First of all, let's put this here. So it damages to win another three. Let's put this here. And this here. This is what luck, luck, luck looks like. Have you ever seen luck? This is it. This, this here. <laughs> Easy enough. Fecundity now doesn't create infinite copies. Yeah. I I'm waiting for them to nerf this too. Can I get another easy rock? No, I hate pot lice. But I can transfer the pot lice on this gek. And then combine them. <laughs> I don't need fecundity anymore, so might as well, right? And this thing... Oh, we can take this, as I said, transfer it over here. Or, or, or just take the amoeba. Or just take the mole man. Take the mole man, transfer it on the gek. Combine these two. <laughs> no. That's really bad. I guess pelt dice, man. I guess pelt dice. And if I get a transfer, I put it on the gag. Just just that. As, as simple as that. At the end of the day, just a four cost that I can easily play, so... I mean, not easily play. Man, imagine trying to play the the thing and then it just is an easy rock. Okay, is there any sacrifice? There is a sacrifice here, so we go that path. I'm also gonna paint the gag. And the worst that could happen is it lose one attack. It's still very powerful if it loses an attack. Here I would like to go for a yes, as um, as I'm always doing. You know, I've decided to not try to avoid this. Let's go with damage. I have a bunch of two damage units. I have a, I also have a bunch of zero attack units. Actually, life might be easier. If I roll this or this, we win. No, I think it's harder. Damage is doable with some twos. I have a bunch of twos. Let's go with damage. I don't think we would have got, kin got it. Easy. Uh, Black Goat trying to sabotage us. Black Goat tried to save us, is what I meant. This thing moves around while leaving an egg. What stupid thing to get? Warren? You know what? Warren that buffs the allies is decent. Let's go with Warren that buffs the allies. Let's go paint to get another 3-1 gek with fecundity, mortality, or anything in between. Maybe it gets a different sigil. It's still gonna be... You know what? If it loses its sigil, it's still okay. Wait a minute. What? Where is this Iraq? Where's the Ejirak? Is this the Ejirak? Is this the Ejirak? Like, first of all, which card is twice that I don't have twice? Two Gex, two Direwolves. There is no Ejirak here. Okay, you cannot paint the Ejirak. Good to know. Or I'm blind, okay? Or I'm blind. That is always a possibility. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you did insane. I love you, man. Let's go. I love this guy. Sacrifice. After this fight, I'm gonna sacrifice the, the Pelt Lice. So let's hope we don't draw the Pelt Lice. This one turn that it's gonna be in the deck, of course. It's gonna be in the deck for one turn, and I drew it. <sighs> the luck, man. That's that's description for you. Uh, let's go with Field Mice on the left, so I do two damage while I take two damage. Is that a good idea? We got some problems. Ac actually, why would I do two and take two? I can just... This is going to move to the left, and this is also going to move to the left. Both of them are going to move to the left. And then this is going to leave a tail behind and move to the right when I'm trying to attack it. The tail will die, but both of them will evolve into two fours, and then I won't be able to handle this. So move to the left, move to the left. Yeah, I, I and there is no way the field mice can kill any of these two. Uh, regardless, though, I'm still going to play it. There we go. Okay, we got another field mice, although that's pretty useless. I'm gonna continue drawing real cards until we maybe do it. Yeah. I should have played the field mice over here. Although then I would not get uh, would not have gotten hit. So what we can draw. Darwolf. This is not good. This is not good. Take the loss. Man, the, the pelt lice is killing us right now. Literally, the pelt lice is what kills us. Um, draw the square. <laughs> By the way, I don't like saying um, um, um. Let's snip one of them away. Snip this so I do two damage and take four. Can I even win? If I snip this, I do two and take four. If I draw aside the card, I can also play the squirrel and play the dire wolf. Then I will be taking four and doing four each turn. But I don't know what exactly will happen next turn. Like, he can play more cards and then I will have an even bigger problem. Uh, 
I don't like gambling this at all. Wait a minute. If I do two now and take four, I cannot even win right away. Yeah, that's the main problem here. If at least I could have played the direwolf right now, which I can obviously not. I can play it next turn though. Man, I really want to take the loss. I really want to take the loss. Why? Because I I prepare I prefer to keep these items, these items. Yeah, let's go. I take the loss. Go. But Sift, you could have done this and this and this to win. Yeah, but I I don't, I want to get rid of the items. I I don't want to get rid of the items. Yeah, because I'm missing the item pool anyway. I'm gonna go for the sacrifice there. What a bad fight, man. Uh. I guess that wolf pup. I guess that wolf pup. It's always a decent card. Let's go here. Here we definitely throw away the, the stupid pelt lice. Why did I even take it, man? Why did I even take it? Let's put on the gek. I could have put it on a bunch of other things, though. Anyway, uh, combine? I want to combine these geks. These geks. Do I? First of all, if I play this gek on its own, it's instantly 2 damage. Uh, sacrifice. I can transfer the cockroach, actually. Transfer the cockroach onto the black goat, so I get infinite sacrifices for th the 3 costs I have. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go sacrifice the cockroach on the... By the way, I'm fighting against elites. Oh, now now we got some problems. Oh no, tails again. Oh no, this, this is the same fight. This is literally the same fight. Yep. Okay, uh, um, game devs, first of all, one of these two is the Jirak, obviously. So, we won. The Jirak. Oh, but this is not the Jirak. Yep, because the Jirak never ever copies uh, itself. It, it always does all the effects based on the other card. <laughs> this is also what luck looks like. So many, this is what luck, luck looks like fights. Nice, that was a free win, by the way. Let's see what we get. I don't like any. I guess we get a tadpole. Especially with this whole deck that we have going. And we find another flame. And items. Okay, we, mi we missed the item completely. Sacrifice the cockroach. On to... Is this Jirak here? Is this the Jirak? Nope, I don't see the Jirak anymore. Yeah, it's gonna go to the black goat. So that I can easily play the three costs. Because I know it's easy to play the three costs, but the thing is that I need a second way to play them. I also got the combine going over there, so that's nice. Whoop. Ah. Let's see what we can get out of this. Nice, we got the black goat and the dire wolf. Prediction 101, man. Easy. It's it's obviously gonna be like it's obviously gonna be a... <laughs> come on, give me an easy rock here. Easiest predict of my life. Easiest predict of my life. Good thing it's... Oh no, it's spiked. It's dead. I, I just lost the Jirak. I just lost the Jirak because of spikes. I mean, it happens. <laughs> this is what luck look like. <laughs> and he loses. Uh, yeah, this is gonna backline kill the porcupine and die itself. Do I want to even do that? I prefer this to be blocked. I think I want to sacrifice the Jirak. For a few Actually, for the dire wolf. Honestly, honestly speaking. Yeah, I can take one hit from this. Yeah, let's just take the hit. You go here, you're out. You keep the rabbit in hand. Next turn, I draw a side card, play the Dark Wolf. Easy win. Huh? As simple as that. Here you go. Imagine if this somehow is another easy rock. So this dies because it can't wiggle away. This will come in and hit us for one. We don't care. Next turn, we kill it too. And Alpha's coming in. That's really bad for us, obviously. Try to draw some uber card. Nope. Pass. Dies. Stop. We do two. We take three. And obviously another bull is coming in. Please draw me a good card. This is not a good card. Uh. Oof. What can I do? What can I do? I can draw this. I can get lethal right now. With all these two. One, two is lethal. If I draw this and play the Warren, it's gonna make the Darwolf have 3 attack. It's gonna backline damage the Wild Bolt for 1, but then it's gonna die next turn. 
If it dies next turn, it doesn't matter because I still control this lane. No, no, the world build is gonna come in, attack, and then move to the right. I guess I can control the right lane then. Because I can play the Dire Wolf up here. It can attack it for one. This is gonna get stuck and then it's gonna evolve too. We we have no problem. We we are pretty decent here. Uh, do I care about the Dire Wolf dying? Now that I think about it, I don't even care about the Dire Wolf dying. Because next turn I can draw a side card, play the Warren, play it twice, play the Dire Wolf pop. It attacks one damage on the White Bull. Oh, it's not gonna kill it though. Yeah, I need it to get buffed right now. So we have to do this. So you go over here and buff this. Yeah. The rabbit has a 2? I didn't realize. Okay, then we win even more. Because this is now gonna backline kill that thing. Nice. I didn't realize- Wow, this is actually a good card. And we won. Nice, 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 nice. With one item use. The genius is in the chat, pretty much a chat. The genius is the comment section, definitely. You'll have seen that like years ago. Although, why am I trash talking my comment section? But guys, you know what? My comment section is actually- My comment section is actually pretty decent. Uh, th thanks for thanks for the support. Uh, let's see where we go. Who cost four three? Who cost four three? Flame, most likely another sacrifice. Actually, combination the gex most likely. Two life. Let's give life to this gag. What is this warrant? Since when do I have since when do I have this warrant in the deck? I would say let's give life to this gag. Okay, now, if I combine Gex, they said that they changed it so that you always combine the most sigils possible. I think if I combine these two Gex, they are actually gonna get combined. And Sacrifice, I mean, I can transfer this Warren specifically onto something, but other than that, I don't think I have any other good Sacrifice. So let's go, let's go combine the Gex. Uh, the downside of combining the Gex, obviously, is that I have a less, less of a chance to draw the Gex. I hope it doesn't gonna get combined the, the... Okay, it combines the correct ones. It combines the correct ones. Let's go. Now, the only thing we need is to draw them, actually. Uh, to actually draw them, not to draw them, actually. Why am I speaking backwards? Now, I'm gonna use all my items here, so that after the next fight, I can actually get some better items. I want to find a magpie's eye, and I'm gonna even use the snip to achieve that. Snip isn't really that important to have. Now, the thing is, are we even gonna beat this fight? I didn't draw my super gek. I did draw a tadpole, though. That matters. Which means I can play the dire wolf over here. Double attack right away. Can I get lethal turn one? Do I want? Do I want to get the lethal no turn one? I don't want to get lethal turn one. Okay, let's begin with the tadpole first. Tadpole one. Okay, it's not a easy rock. Let's see, is the warren an easy rock? No, it's not. Is the darewolf an easy rock? No, it's not. Okay, we're pretty safe here. We will do four damage now. We will take two. I can snip if I need to, and we're gonna start drawing from the real deck until we find something that's either mortal or something crazy anyway. Okay, I, got, I, I get a few turns here. I get a few turns. This is dead. It's okay. I could have played this. Could I have played this better? We take three. Oh man, we're close to death. We might actually die. I mean, I can play the wolf pelt for two turns. Mm, I need to get rid of this strange fog to play the, the this thing over on the left. You know what? Let's snip it. And I need to draw another squirrel after I snip. Okay, this is not going well. Um, if I snip the left and play the tentacle next turn there, I will come back. Yeah, we, we have to play this as, as good as possible. <laughs> this, is, this is extremely dangerous. Uh, I can take two, honestly. I can play this next turn. Like, it's, it's not gonna do any... No! This is bad. I'm forced to draw aside the card. Uh, I don't see the way out. I mean, I can do three damage in the middle. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do here. So we go here into this. Three damage in the middle. And uh, we play this here to buy a dime. Oh, this is not going well. If he plays anything here, which he will, he will, he will, he will play an adder now. Oh, he didn't. Time to buy time. 
Ah, oh, that's decent. -ish. Yeah, we do three and we take one. Okay, obviously he would play Nair, by the way. That was the most predictable thing I could have guessed. I can play the Warren in top of on top of this, by the way. Not gonna get poisoned. And then I can play the yeah, I can play the Warren on top of this. I can kill the left side. And the, the right side's gonna stay there. Now let's do that. Yes! We won! Or this is an easy rock. So we're gonna test the Ijirak theory here. Here, actually. It's not the Ijirak, we won. We won! We won! And obviously we're gonna flex. Easy. Let's, uh, let's go. Boop, boop. This will die. Give me the pelt. Nice. This gets the sigil again, so we get two of those. Yep, easy enough. And we win. Oof, so close, so close. The deck is a the deck is a mess. The deck is a huge mess. But we're barely scraping. Man, this is the most lucky run and at the same time also one of uh, the most random runs. Uh underwater who cares? Double attack who cares? I mean, I can just I can just take these two and win anyway. This is a flyer. It doesn't matter. We won here. Boom boom done. He doesn't have blockers, he doesn't have anything. It doesn't matter what I do. And 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 I even forgot the fact that these gecks are like double striking units anyway, so it's it's like insane damage. <laughs> this is what Lux look like. <laughs> this is what Lux looks like. <laughs> Let's go. Ah. So close to a loss. No, I should have used this. No, 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 no. I hate you, Leshy, for not allowing me to throw this away. Let's get the pack rat. I really don't like that you cannot throw the items away. Like, it's... There is no reason. This is Like, throwing the items away is quality of life that exists in all the games. I don't know why this game specifically does not have that one quality of life that all the others have. But it doesn't matter. We won already. We got the win card. This, this here. This, this is the win. Do, do you see the win in this? this? This looks like a win to me. You again? Ho ho ho! It's time again. Another go. A yo ho ho! Again upon the seas. He's changing his voice all the time, by the way. I want to see Scallywog. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm gonna open up with the dire wolf, the double dire wolf. Nah, I'm gonna just open up with my winning comp. Now you see the Ijirak is normally um, the Ijirak is either the pack rat or the other pack rat, right? Because I only have one pack rat in the deck. But I'm gonna draw this, and it still has a chance to be the Ijirak. And it's not. Nice. Here I'm gonna do the classic tactic of playing more cards the, the more I can. So we're gonna go with play this. We're gonna go one, two, three. Is this Nijirak? Maybe. It's not. Now I have more of these gecks, so I'm gonna play them all. That was the plan, by the way. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Done. Done. Didn't even pre-target anything. Didn't even pre-target, man. Didn't even pre-target. Uh, yeah, thanks for the packet, man. Thanks for the packet. I don't know why you get a packet here, by the way. I guess because the first phase is supposed to be really hard. Nothing will change. Nothing changes. Pass. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. One, two, three, four. Easy. Right now we're doing... Uh, what is the damage we have on the board? This is like 8 plus 2. 14 damage times 2. Photo shoot, Lashy, photo shoot. Got him. Enough of that. Okay. Do we have poisonous on the board on the deck? In the deck? Do we have poisonous in the deck? I don't think we do. Would be nice if I had the hammer to remove the dire wolf of the side. <laughs> Uh, let's just paint this and be done with it. Like, I paint this, boop, done. 
And now we win here, get the bones too, because why not? Pass, pop, 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 only first cannon fires. I love the sound effects though. Definitely not the sound effect I'm making. My sound effect is like a little, it's, what is it called? A chicken. <laughs> we do for damage and we win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I love how they're like, hop, hop, and then the next one, hop, hop. Hop, hop. This was the most lucky run I ever had. Other than the fights, like the deck building was lucky. By the way, you cannot uh, escape these. John and Sensel, like these two are not escapable. And David Hungerman. These three credit parts and Kevin Saxby. These four and Techni Langshow. These five are not skippable. The, from here on out, you can skip. Of course. <laughs> of course. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Cards run 151, misplay 7. What are the chances that my misplays are so low while I have so many cards run? Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel as always. And uh, actually, thanks for the Patreons. That's also very important because uh, that's actually supporting me and helping me really. And uh, yeah, as I said, if you want to support me without being becoming a Patreon, just drop a like. It's the simplest thing. Uh, although I think it feels like um, a playlist with your most of your liked videos. So maybe you don't want to do that, but it really helps, man. If you don't use that liked playlist, then it really helps. So yeah, I think that's it pretty much. I was pretty lucky. I don't think I want to say anything here. The only thing I'm going to say that's going to go mostly towards random luck and happiness is I hope there isn't a patch right now happening because imagine if this, if this run gets bent. Anyway, so uh, yesterday I was saying about modded uh, inscription. I, I talked about the community and stuff. So if you want to go back and see it, it, it is there. I, yeah, I, I still stand to what I said. It's pretty much the same. Actually, honestly speaking, this video is literally shot the same day. So it's like three day, It's like three hours between those two videos for me. But for you, it's like one day between. So nothing really changed there. But I'm mostly gonna. I'm most likely gonna play modded tomorrow, right? Um, it's it's like there are so many mod mod creators that uh, want me to play their mods and I'm okay with it obviously it's not like I'm it, it doesn't cost me anything right if anything it even helps me be able to put out footage so I'm if if somebody has like a new mod I'm gonna obviously showcase it right so if you want to show to sh me to showcase your mod or something you can just do it I'm most likely gonna try tomorrow some new mods and stuff. Now, for anybody that trash talks me, I mean, I've decided might as well just blacklist them and not play their mods, but that does not work, right? It's yesterday I was, I, I, I forgot to mention that yesterday, that uh, I cannot literally avoid playing the mods. I, that the people that, um, that not that are negative against me, like people that don't like me, I cannot avoid playing their mods if I want to play modded in general. Because of the fact that they are actually putting out good mods. Like, that's the that's the weird thing of this whole thing. Like, it, it really feels like the moment they got power, the moment they got recognized that, yo, bro, now I'm also famous because I have one of the most famous mods. <laughs> From the moment that happened, it really felt like something changed and they started trash talking me. So, I'm not gonna call names, but I'm 99% sure the whole modern community is gonna pin them, ping them and tell them, Yo, Sift is talking about you in this video. Okay, <laughs> um, you know what? I like trolling too. Maybe if you answer to this, it's a troll and you're getting baited into it. <laughs> or you can just stop talking about me completely. That would also be a solution, just saying, you know. Or maybe I'm falling into your pit of getting uh, trolled. Hmm. Mind games. Anyway, I'm having fun here at the end as always. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. Like, you guys watching me are all the support I need. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to tell anything about anything, just comment down below. If you want to have fun with this whole debacle that's happening, just comment down below. Tell me whatever you want to say. I mean, there isn't any debacle happening in reality. Like, I'm not interacting with anybody and nobody's interacting with me. I'm just reading things that I don't like to be said by people that I thought were part of my community. But at the end of the day, it seems like we are opponents. <laughs> the, the community... The... the, <laughs> the <laughs> Uh, what to say man what to say anyway that's going to be it for today so once again thanks for watching everybody and see you guys around